Hello everyone! Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Today we are going to read the book Pterodactyl Show and Tell. This is written by Bad Kroneski and it's illustrated by Tanya Leonello. Looking at the cover of our book, it looks like all the kids are lining up. Line up, line up, everybody line up. And everyone is carrying their item for show and tell. A bunny, a book, a truck, a pterodactyl? Interesting. Let's see what this book is about. I brought my pterodactyl into school for show and tell. <laughs> he almost ate two kids before we heard the morning bell. Run! The pterodactyl is slurping up a sock. Look at the shoes on the ground. Oh my gosh, one girl is running away barefoot. A boy is running away barefoot. Those are the kids who probably almost got eaten. Hmm. So now they're in the classroom. The pterodactyl has its own desk, but it's eating everyone's homework. It's eating everyone's paper. And the pterodactyl is not sitting on the chair. My teacher had to make some minor changes in attendance and social studies looked more like the War of Independence. <gasps> look at the teacher trying to teach. And look, the pterodactyl threw a tomato at the kids. The kids are throwing papers back and chairs. <laughs> a boy is drumming. A girl is blowing on a banana like a trumpet. They are going to war with this pterodactyl. So now it's reading time. Oh, and look at the books. It's coming to get you. Oh no, scary stories. How to train your monster, yum yum. What do dinosaurs eat? Oh, look behind you, don't. Ask terrifying tales, things that go bump in the night. <gasps> it looks like everyone's reading about dinos. Maybe they want to learn more about the situation. In reading, we sat quietly and no one made a squeak. At recess, we enjoyed a lively game of hide and seek. Everyone's hiding from the pterodactyl in the bush. <gasps> on the tire swing, under the slide, in the playground. The pterodactyl slides behind the girl. So look at what they're having next. What class do you think this is? One girl has her calculator and then uh, ooh, the teacher is nervously writing on the board. A class had 21 students, only 14 were present. What fraction of the class was absent? They're trying to pay attention to math, I think. In math, my pterodactyl learned that numbers can be fun. In Spanish, he waved adios and went out for a run. <gasps> Look at the teacher's pen. So, escapar to escape. So she's writing, writing, writing. Look at the marker. She got too distracted. All the kids are running too. Now, of course, we love lunch break, so they're in the cafeteria. Hmm, Tyrodactyl is holding a hamburger, but I think he thinks the kids are yummier. At lunch, my pterodactyl wondered which meal would be the best. In science, he experimented with a tasting test. The kids are in their lab coats. Oh my gosh, the flasks are bubbling, the test tubes are steaming, <gasps> and with the goggles on, the pterodactyl licks the kid. What class is next? <gasps> look at them, they're making 3D dinosaur boxes. Ooh, look at all the glue on the foot. In art, my pterodactyl made a prehistoric scene. In health, he showed us how he keeps his teeth so bright and clean. We might brush with a toothbrush and toothpaste. 
It looks like the pterodactyl needs a whole broomstick and a bucket. Look at all frothy, but I think the pterodactyl's breath is very stinky. In music class, my pterodactyl kept a steady beat. A boom, a boom. Oh my gosh! He hits the students' heads. Those are not drums. And in computer lab, he found a new way to delete. Click delete, please. <sighs> you could delete things with a click of a button, or you could delete things by eating them, I guess. It looks like the teacher is pretty unhappy. I never got a chance to show and tell about my pet. Perhaps that's why my teacher looked a teeny bit upset. The kid has a glove so that um, when the pterodactyl lands, it doesn't hurt his arm. She said I shouldn't bring my pterodactyl anymore. But since my class is gone, I've been promoted to grade four. <gasps> The boy walks to the next grade and look at, maybe he was in the grade three classroom before. It's a mess inside. So he goes to the next room. It looks like they're learning about seasons in the back, about volcanoes, but look at the teacher. Look at the kids. They don't want him either. The fourth grade teacher made me leave my pet out in the hall. I guess those big fourth graders don't like show and tell at all. What about you? Would you like show and tell with a pterodactyl? That is the end of our book, Pterodactyl Show and Tell. And this is by Thad Krasneski and by Tanya Leonello. Thank you so much for reading along with me.